Okay, so now that we understand that current is being is always drawn and voltage is always pushed, and we understand Ohm's law, we can understand the concept of a short circuit. So Ohm's law again says V equals to I R. So current or electricity rather always wants to flow through the path of least resistance. So say that electricity wants to get from point A to point B. And electricity is going down a road, but right before it makes a turn, it encounters a hill. Multiple hills actually. Just like that. Now so electricity, in order to get from point A to B as fast as possible, it has to flow, it has to walk along this road, and it, when it gets to a hill, it has to climb up, go down, climb up again, go down, climb up again, and then finally get to point B. That's a lot of effort. Electricity doesn't like putting all that effort in. Electricity is a lazy fuck. So, what's going to happen though, when I attach, I create another road, it just goes directly downwards, straight from A to B, just like that. Electricity is not going to want to go through all the effort of going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, until it can get to B. Electricity is going to say, oh hey, there's a direct path, a direct line uh, between point A and B. I'm just going to take this line and go as fast as possible at the speed of light from A to B. And that's going to be the route it takes. So what does this mean? Well, there's no resistance along path A to B as opposed to from A to B, there's this resistance of having to go up and down, up and down, up and down again until it gets from to point B. So from A to B, there's no resistance, zero. So, if we take, for example, Ohm's law, V equals to IR, and we know R is equal to zero. Well, V is always a constant. So you could say V equals to five in this case, but it doesn't really matter. Because V is always supplied or pushed by your DC power supply. That's why it's always a constant. So you take five equals to I over times zero. So how much electricity is going to flow through this circuit when there's a direct path uh, or a shorter path between member so here we have member our short our shorter path here between point a and b this is a very short path versus this path which goes up and down and there's a lot of resistance and it's very hard to go through we have the shorter path so what's going to happen here when you have a short path no resistance zero well i is equal to five divided by zero. And you know what happens is whenever you divide something by zero, zero can go in an infinite amount of times, just like that. So in other words, with a short circuit, you have the potential to pull an infinite amount of current, or that circuit is going to draw an infinite amount of current from this power supply. A short circuit is a direct path between two points, a point A in this case and point B. And so this is the shortest path between point A and B as opposed to this path going here, going up and down through this resistance or this hill and to point B. And electricity is of course going to want to take that shortest path. Now that path of least resistance or no resistance in this case is zero. So using Ohm's law V equals to IR, you can see that in any case, no matter what V, so it's always going to end up being infinity just like that you're going to draw an, in a short circuit, you're going to draw an infinite amount of current from your power supply. Okay, so the whole concept behind uh, what I'm trying to teach you here is uh, electricity always flows along the path of least resistance or from high potential to low potential. So in this case, uh, when you short two lines together, you effectively are making them touch. They're touching together, there's no resistance between the two. And so what I'm going to do is I've got a charger here or uh, a DC power supply. This is rated at 14.5 volts. So you can say 14.5 volts is your high potential or your high point and 
where it wants to go is ground. So normally what happens is you plug this in, you plug it into your computer and electricity flows out of the charger and it goes through the circuit board, it goes through all the circuits and it comes and returns back to the charger to the ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and then use my uh, and then put one of my multimeter probes on ground and the other probe on the output of the charger 14.5 volts. Now that's going to create a short circuit or a short to ground as many people call it. So what's going to happen then? Well we know from Ohm's law that an infinite amount of current is going to be drawn and passing through a short circuit. Now this power supply is only rated for 3.1 amps. So the circuit is drawing or requesting infinite amount of current from the power supply which is only rated to supply 3.1 amps at max. So if this is a knockoff uh, power uh, uh, so, sorry, if this is a knockoff power supply with no protection circuitry or no fuse in here that's going to blow um, if when when I short it to ground, this thing is going to try to supply infinite amount of current and you're going to see that on the multimeter and it's going to blow up. Now if it's a legitimate Apple charger, it's going to shut off before it can reach 3.1 amps or uh, uh, and blow the fuse inside. Now how this relates to a circuit on a motherboard? Well, if you have a short circuit on your motherboard and you short uh, uh, from liquid damage and you're shorting some uh, a power supply or a power rail to ground, that short circuit on the motherboard is going to draw an infinite am uh, uh, amount of current from the power supply circuitry on the motherboard. But the power supply circuitry in the motherboard is not rated to handle an infinite amount of current. It's only rated to handle say 1 amp or 2 amps for example. And so what's going to happen then is that power supply circuitry is going to go poof and you're going to have a little hole in your board. So if you ever had a MacBook with uh, a short on backlight output, maybe because you um, when you're changing the screen, you touch the backlight pins uh, uh, with your tweezers by accident and short them to ground. You see, you often see that there's a little crater in the board where the backlight uh, circuitry or the backlight fuse used to be, and that that's essentially the, what's going to happen here if this is not a legitimate Apple charger. So let's find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in, and I've got a light. On my, I've got a green light on my charger now, orange light. You can see that now. I'm a fan spinning. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my multimeter to DC amperage mode. And this multimeter actually has a little feature called max min. You see right there, that's max min. And so what this does is if I press it, and let's see. So the internal memory of the multimeter is going to now remember what the maximum current draw it, it reads is and what the minimum is. And so when I touch this, I'm going to put one probe on ground and I'm going to touch the output of the charger with my other probe. And if this is not uh, a real Apple charger, you're going to see that that maximum current just keep on increasing, increasing, increasing until it hits infinity and something blows up. If this is a real charger, you're going to see it limits itself and you're going to see in the max min function that uh, at the maximum it's going to have a limit before it blows. Okay, so I'm going to put my one probe on ground and I'm going to sit a little farther back and let's see what happens when... Oh, jeez. You get a big ass spark like that and the, char the light on the charger has now <laughs> shut off. I had no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> But you can see here, I only reached a maximum potential of 1.86 volts, roughly 1.9, or sorry, 1.86 amps, um, uh, which you can see is basically saying, judging by the spark and the light on the charger, that since this did not climb to infinity, this, this is a legitimate Apple charger, and unfortunately, we can't blow it up. But we got a nice big spark. So I hope you learned something. I hope you understand how Ohm's law works and how the concept of a short circuit. And uh, I hope you can now understand how voltage is pushed from a power supply while, uh, and, and current is drawn by the circuit attached from, uh, to, to the power supply. So with that being said, have a great one. And hopefully next time we can blow something up.